We're at the National Hardware Show 2015, looking at a lot of the cool new products being released at the show. That brought me over to the Troy Bill booth, and we are looking at some push mowers. I've got Jim here. Jim, tell us a little bit more about the mower. Well, the one that we're looking at right now is a push mower. It is a high wheel mower. So what that'll allow you to do is it'll help you turn at the end of your run as you are mowing in your lawn. Uh, it also features uh, a Briggs & Stratton engine on it, so you know you're going to get reliability every time you're going to start it. Uh, this particular unit is what we call a three-in-one. As you can see on the side to the to the left there, that's the side discharge. Also in the rear of the unit it does have the bagging option and then when the bag is not there that door will close and that can be a mulching mower as well. Very nice. Now Jim, one concern with some of the homeowners is the ease of starting. How is that with this mower? Uh, well it's really not an issue with this mower because Briggs & Stratton has a feature to this called Ready Start. So this thing will start within one to two poles every time you want to use the mower. Okay. That sounds great. Now, for the folks who, you know, maybe the push mower, this because this is not a, an assist mower at all, right. it could be a little difficult for them. Do you have an option for those who need that extra help? Yeah, the particular model that we have just to, just to the right of this one is a self-propelled mower. This particular one is a rear wheel self-propelled mower. So what that will do, that will give some pull to that for the consumer who may not have the power to push through the lawn the entire time as that bag is getting full. So what that drive will do is it'll allow you to go at your own pace as you're going through your cutting your lawn. The self-propelled mechanism is in the rear of this one by the wheels. It's really kind of hidden right here right now, but that will again assist the consumer in getting this maneuvered through their lawn with ease. And also looks like this has a port for cleaning it. Tell us about that. Yes, this again is the deck wash system. You would simply affix this to your hose after you're done mowing, turn the water on, turn your mower back on, let it run for a little bit and it'll clean the underside of your deck, cleaning all the debris so you won't have any of that mustiness and that smell to it if you store it in your garage and or shed. Very nice, very nice. And of course it looks like it's got the same starting technology. Is there electric options for these mowers? Yes, there are some models that will have a, a feature that's electric start. So all you would do simply there is press a button and your mower starts right up. Now you mentioned with the walk behind the first one that it had three in one technology where it could be a mulcher, bagger, or a blowback. Does this have the same ability? Yes, it does. This is a three in one mower as well. So it will side discharge, it will bag, and it will also mulch for you. Another great feature on this unit uh, is that this particular one is a single lever height adjustment. So back on the rear wheel, you'll see that red knob. This will allow you to raise and lower the deck with just one point. At one wheel, you're lowering and raising all four wheels at the same time. Wow, that sounds really great. If people like to find out more information about the Walk Behind Mowers, where could they go? Well, we can simply go to uh, TroyBuild.com to see all of the great items that we have uh, to keep your lawn looking beautiful. That sounds great, Jim. We are at the National Hardware Show.